Burkina Faso's transitional military leader, Captain Ebrahim Traoré, has responded to the failed coup attempt against him in late September 2023 by removing Lieutenant Colonel Evrard Sumda from his position as the Chief of Staff of the National Gendarmerie. According to a national decree signed by Captain Ibrahim Traoré and issued on Wednesday, October 4, 2023, Lieutenant Colonel Evrard Sumda has been replaced as head of the National Gendarmerie by Lieutenant Colonel Kouakri Natama with immediate effect. This development comes after long-standing rumors of Lieutenant Colonel Evrard Sumda being at the heart of the failed plot to ask Captain Ibrahim Traoré with some sources speculating that he received as much as 25 billion CFA francs, or roughly $40 million, to betray his country. Fortunately, the coup attempt against Captain Ibrahim Traoré was unsuccessful. After rumors of a possible coup appeared on the night of September 26, pro Traoré social media accounts posted messages encouraging Junta loyalists to go out and protest in favor of Traoré. And on the evening of September 27, 2023, the Junta officially revealed that a coup attempt by high-ranking security officers was foiled by intelligence gathered by the Burkina Bay Intelligence Agency. And Evrard Sumda, who was once a highly respected officer, was weakened by the arrest of four officers, including two of his former close associates, on suspicion of involvement in a plot against state security. The four officers arrested were Abdul Aziz Awoba, the commander of the Burkina Bay Special Forces, Lieutenant Colonel Bubakar Kita, Director of the Higher Institute of Civil Protection Studies, Lieutenant Colonel Chaik Hamza Uatara, Commander of the Special Forces of the VDP, and Christoph Mega, Deputy Commander of VDP Special Forces. Although many official reports out of Burkina Faso exclude the monetary incentive to depose Captain Ibrahim Traore, Many analysts and pan-Africanists believe it is not far-fetched to assume that those behind the plot to unseat Traoré received a substantial financial package to do so. This is because it is often the case that coups instigated by powerful entities behind the scenes are backed with strong financial and intelligence support in the hopes of deposing strong leaders so puppet presidents can be installed in their stead. Thomas Ankara, Kwame Nkrumah, and Patrice Lumumba are excellent examples of exemplary African leaders whose administrations were truncated by coups backed by external powers. The removal of Lieutenant Colonel Evrard Sumda from his position as Chief of Staff in Burkina Faso underscores a recurring phenomenon in African politics where influential figures close to leaders are incentivized to conspire against them. In this case, the failed coup attempt against Captain Ebrahim Traoré exposed the unsettling reality of internal betrayal fueled by alleged financial motives. The swift response of state intelligence to thwart the plot is commendable, as is the continuous support Traoré received from the Burkina Bay people when rumors of the coup surfaced because it reaffirms the people's trust in Traoré's leadership during a critical juncture in their history. This incident serves as a reminder of the challenges African leaders face in maintaining the loyalty and integrity of their inner circles while striving to lead their nations towards stability and progress. What do you make of Burkina Faso sacking its chief of staff after he was caught selling out his country? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, do subscribe to the new Africa channel for more interesting future videos.